Guys, today I have for you a really, really special setup for legendary runs. I think you have never seen anything quite like this where blue screen exotic LMG actually is kinda decent and works. It finally works in a way that you will proc multiple talents and synergies in the setup and now you can switch to your second weapon which can deal more DPS. Yes. It took me quite some time to find perfect balance in this setup. I tried multiple combinations with different gears and different, different talent combinations and eventually I came to this one. I tried exotic waveform holster for a moment but then came back to the Picaros holster, threw in the mix some ongoing directive sets and much more. So as usual, welcome to the insanity Uncle Butcher in the building with another barbecue chicken setup. And I mean, if you love those kind of setups, not your mainstream builds with little bit of crazy um, playstyle and uh, insanity ingredient, maybe hit that like, smash that sub, or leave a hateful comment, it really depends on your preference, brother. Nevertheless, I think this setup is definitely worth your time. What I mean by worth your time, because you need to farm your ass off in order to find some necessary and key pieces in this setup to actually have fun with this one because like I said blue screen by itself is not that good LMG actually first of all it's slow rate of fire LMG uh, Anyway, before we get to the setup, quick word from the sponsor, Deviant.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in any of your favorite game, then these guys are for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through icon sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. And if you will use my promo code RBDIP or RBD. You will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. Goddamn man, amazing op opportunity. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Drop your comment down below in comment section or contact the operator. And the rest will be the history. But now, comrade, let's dive into this setup. And uh, yeah, like I said, I tried multiple combinations. Some of those worked decently. Some of those didn't work at all. So eventually I came back to Kingbreaker, named the Assault Rifle with perfect flatland talent which will amplify our weapon damage and also blue screen exotic LMG to uh, proc my backpack talent which in this case is shock and half talent. Also I'm using ongoing directive gear pieces to boost my status effects because blue screen will give us status effects and all marked enemies will receive status effects when you're gonna kill one marked enemy and this effect will work with your skill kills so you can mark as much enemies as you want or as you can spray and pray in a nutshell uh, and make sure that your skills if you can't kill anybody with your guns make sure that skills are killing targeted or marked enemies and once your skills will take out one of the marked enemies, everybody will receive status effect. And to increase status effect duration on those enemies, I am using status effect attribute on my gears. Usually I'm using armor regen, something like that as my secondary attribute. But in this one, status effect actually is kinda good option. I have decent armor regen, you can see my armor is regaining right now. Not much, but actually it's, it's alright in some sticky situations. It's enough to not use medkit and I didn't use my medkit here. I didn't panic, I took out that war machine and everything is just fine. So panicking sometimes is your biggest enemy in Division 2 game and maybe in life in general. <laughs> For specialization here we are using Technician to, to gain that extra skill tier, skill damage, link at laser point and attachments which will be used on Kingbreak and name the Assault Rifle which has perfect flatline talent which will amplify damage. Simply aim at your enemy, boom, it's pulsed and now you will deal more damage. Simple enough, guys. Uh, second weapon, blue screen, exotic LMG, with this one you 
have to basically spray and pray. It takes some time to get used to all the synergies in this setup and how to play with this build, but trust me, it's definitely worth it because this build will provide you with weapon damage, skill damage, crowd control, support, so nice utility, and overall really, really good build. Like I said, we have nice weapon damage because we have three offensive core attributes we have perfect glass cannon which is amplifying your skill and weapon damage by freaking 30 percent we have name the ass mask which will give you 10 percent extra health damage so king breaker is amplified weapon damage as well blue screen is applying status effects and i have tdi name at pistol with insane an extra skill there but i will show you how you can easily modify the setup to push this build uh, to maximum skill power and it's really simple guys uh, simple life hack how you can achieve this magic but like i said for the guns again briefly i will run over i'm using king breaker uh, just to take out fat enemies like Changas. Uh, first of all, I will try to mark my enemies as much as I can with my blue screen exotic LMG. Usually I'm doing this at the beginning of the fight. When I'm entering the room, I'm marking all the enemies. I'm trying to kill somebody with my skills. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to kill enemy which is marked with my blue screen with my skills So I would apply status effects on all the marked enemies and then when they are disorientated I'm using King Breaker to maybe gain golden bullet advantage And uh, that's really nice in the right now we have golden bullet global event So this is really nice synergy I apply all possible marks on your enemies Take down at least one marked enemy with your skills or weapons, then switch to your King Breaker name with Assault Rifle, try to take down if there is one enemy with Golden Bullet mark, receive that buff and rest should be the history. So for the mask I'm using Yal's name and mask which will increase damage, uh, health damage and uh, that's like red enemies or enemies with red health bar, non-elite enemies, you got the point. So yeah, and every enemy has a health bar, so that's increasing that damage. I'm using Provident chest piece with perfect glass cannon. Glass cannon will amplify weapon and skill damage. I'm using Waveform exotic holster, which will give me 30% skill damage buff at its maximum. Um, but it will usually go to one skill to another skill. So yeah, it better thing that your skills are gaining. Uh, 15% extra weapon damage with Waveform Holster. For Backpack, I'm using uh, Sombra for crit damage reasons and Shock and Off talent. Shock and Off will be procced with Blue Screen Exotic LMG and my Disrupt Grenades from Legend, uh, from, excuse me, from Technician Specialization. Um, I am using two ongoing direct to gear pieces to receive status effect uh, increase or status effect damage increase. Uh, for the mods, I'm using protection from elite mods because I have glass cannon on me and that's kind of mandatory. Uh, for the skills, I'm using assault turret and striker drone. And this is simple life hack. If you need maximum skill power, you can replace shock and off backpack for ninja bike backpack and use Picaro's holster. And now you have maximum possible skill tiers and tons of DPS from Picaro's holster and three core attributes from Ninja Bike Backpack. Yeah, this is my second setup. Put it off the mic, bye.